Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Hey everybody, and welcome to today's episode. Uh, this house update video, I am headed there right now because the carpenters have started putting uh, some of the shelving in and they want me to double check some of the plans we had for the closets, uh, make sure that things are going in the right places and uh, just kind of sign off on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go check on the progress there, um, see how the framers are coming along with installing the doors, um, the window trim and baseboards. There's a lot going on. Um, and in a couple days, I'll come back out here because they're gonna be putting the railing up in the house, which I'm hoping to show you on this video as well. As of right now, it's not done, but you know, five or 10 minutes into this video, it will be. For me, it'll be like three, four days from now. <laughs> uh, the magic of movie making. But uh, just about at the house now, we'll pull in and see what's been going on the last couple days since I've been here last. Driving my mom's Jeep today because my truck is in the shop getting the collision damage fixed. My mom was nice enough to lend me her little mom mobile. Well, thank you, mom. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the house here, I see the carpentry vans are here and it uh, looks like there's probably a lot going on inside the house. Inside the house, while the guys are working over there, they're getting the fireplace mantle put on. Um, they've got uh, some of the hall shelves going in. This is the front hall closet. So there's hangers above and below here. We have a door. I think that was on before. Let's see. Shelves are getting ready to go in in the hall closets. The pantry's got shelves in place. That was in place last time. Just starting to get the little bench put in here. This is uh, gonna be where the kids can hang their coats, the mud room. There's gonna be some paneling and detail work going on there, so they're getting that all built up. Come through the pantry. We got the radio going. So this looks like where they're doing all the cutting, so I'm not gonna get in the way over there, but I am gonna go upstairs and see how things are looking there. Okay. Wow, there's been a lot of progress since I was here last. The master bedroom closet is coming along nicely but look what we we've kind of put this um hang rail above and below as well as one for pants and stuff here too melissa actually likes to fold her pants and her sweaters and stuff but we've got these little cubbies that we put in there for folding or extra shoes um maybe luggage who knows but i'm guessing <laughs> this will basically be like the melissa side i think they're gonna do a little bit over here too i can't quite recall Either way, it's a lot more closet than what we have right now. So I'm happy with whatever goes on in this room. <laughs> It'll be better than what we have at the moment. We've got doors in the bedroom. Window trim around the windows. The door in the bathroom. And they were working on getting the pocket doors ready. So that's one of the pocket doors that's going to go in here for the washroom. All this stuff has to go on, and a lot of people were asking, well, why didn't they paint the house? This was just primer, and you can't really see how pink it is. Maybe you can a little bit. It's quite pink. <laughs> and they're, they're not gonna actually paint until all the trim, the baseboard, all that stuff. Paint is pretty much one of the last things they do. Because there's a risk of it getting scraped or chipped. Um, so for those of you waiting to see the final color on the wall, don't worry, that'll happen. We're just not at that stage just yet. The shelves are going in over there. And in Abigail's room, they were, and I think very soon, gonna start putting her bench in down here. We were designing that the other day. We're gonna do drawers on the bottom. But look, her, her closet's coming along quite nice. Oh, she's got a nice big closet. Abigail has a, an enviable size closet for an adult, let alone a little girl, but she's got all these little pockets for putting stuff. She can hang her pants in here, her tops. 
lots of room for future expansion of an Abigail wardrobe. I'm sure she will be quite thrilled to have that space set up. She was still thinking she could build a fort in here too. <laughs> and I, even as an adult, think that sounds like fun. So she wants to build a little fort in her closet. She can go right ahead. Across the hallway, I can see that they've got the proper doors on for the office. We wanted to go with glass doors to let lots of light through into the hallway. Um, last time I was here, they had panel doors on and uh, Drew Pad called that out and said, no, they put the wrong doors on. So we got that all fixed up. So we'll have double French doors in here, which will be nice. Let's see what that, see what that looks like closed. So you can, if I'm recording in here or doing something, we can have the doors closed off. I'm quite excited because this is the room or one of the rooms where I'll have an opportunity to decorate a little bit myself. So the shelving here on this side um, with some collectibles and stuff, my guitar is on the other wall with my amplifier. So just a really nice, comfortable sort of office space. Um, I think it's gonna be really fun to get this set up. I'm kind of looking forward to setting up the garage in this office. Probably the most. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, we need couches and living room and all that stuff and somewhere to lie down, but this will be the this will be a fun space for me to work on. Come down the hall from the office. He was just here a minute ago. And what was he doing? Putting shelves in. So this is a linen closet. There's a little bit of extra shelves for maybe towels and stuff in the bathroom. And I think we have a functioning pocket door now too. You can kind of see how that's gonna work. They still have to trim it off and make it look all nice and everything, but you've got this extra privacy so someone can use the washroom or have a shower or a bath and um, just lock the pocket door, leaving the sink area open so the other kids can maybe brush their teeth if they have to. I don't know if I'll ever use it that way, we'll find out, but um, nice to see that that's on there and, and working. Pretty snazzy. I'm gonna come down to the basement and show you guys what's going on down here because they're busy working away upstairs and I wanna stay out of the way. But there's been a lot of work happening even in the basement the last couple of days too. And this is one of those times where I'm happy that we decided to finish the basement now. It's actually less expensive to do your basement at the time of initial construction because all the guys are here already. It's just a matter of a little extra material and some extra paint. Um, so if you're ever building a new house and you're thinking, about developing your basement, the time to do it is when you first build. But let me show you what's happening down here. They've got the wood and the MDF cappers on. As you come down the stairs, that was just raw um, open wood before. Now it's all finished off nice. Uh, same on the other side, they're gonna be trimming this out. You can see there's gonna be some nice trim that comes around here. That is all going on. Make a nice sturdy surface. Um, the other day when I was here, Drew Pad said he had a plan for a window box and the window boxes are in. So we've got MDF, um, we have the uh, trim in place. Now of course all that's going to need final sanding and final finishing, but um, it really is taken uh, leaps and bounds. When you get the carpenters in here and all the finish work starts to happen, it looks so nice. When you see they, they put the first skim coat on to sort of cover the joint here and then they've got to fill the nail holes uh, and give it a good coat of paint but that'll be left for the the finishers for the painters. Meanwhile I'm gonna let the guys finish up they're working on the fireplace right now um, shelves are gonna be going into the hallway soon not much I don't think going on in the garage nope just a big empty space still uh, looks like, oh, actually, no, something has happened in the garage. I said that nothing has happened, but wait, I can see there's a gas line on. I don't think they've got it plugged in yet because the 220 is still there and it's not hooked up, but the gas is all hooked up. But that's one more step in the right direction on my heater up there. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't even tell you how I can't wait to have a car in here to work on. Actually, to have a Volkswagen van or two that I can tinker on in here. This is gonna be Project Central. I'm super excited about it. Um, next time I come back, I guess we'll see if they got the uh, trim done around the windows in the garage, um, the shelves should be in. There'd be a big update coming. And the railing guy is here doing his measurements. He said he's actually coming tomorrow. 
So that means that if I come uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, we might actually have railings. Now that'll be uh, something to look forward to. So I guess for today, that's it. Um, I'll pick up the video tomorrow and we'll do an update and see if the railings are in. Well, I just got the phone call from Drewpad to come back and have a look. The um, railing guy has been there and I guess he's been keeping himself pretty busy, I don't know, putting railings up. <laughs> Uh, so we'll go back and check and see how the contractors, um, I guess the carpenters I should say, have been making out and uh, the railing install company. Hopefully there's a few good changes. Well, things have definitely been changing inside the house. The railing installation company is here. And they're working away downstairs there. He's cutting uh, the railings down, getting it all put in place here. But Melissa will no longer be scared walking across our bridge here. <laughs> so what we're doing for the railings here is the top and the very ends are going to be stained dark. And um, right in between it's going to be white to kind of offset sort of a older country kind of vibe, I guess. Should look good. They're discussing uh, repairing one of the art niches over there because I guess it wasn't exactly level. So we're getting that fixed up. And I'm gonna go into Jason's room here where he has a closet door now. And I think every single room has, other than the bars, which go on after it's painted, I think every single room has the closets more or less done. So he will be very excited to see this. I was overhearing them talking and it sounds like the pocket doors, I noticed that there was this big piece of drywall that had been cut. Um, when they went to put the pocket door in, it actually wasn't opening all the way, it was bumping. And what had happened was there was still a stud over here that was kind of impeding the, the operation of the door. So they had to pull the wall apart, move, remove a piece of wood and, uh, and adjust it. So I guess it's all, almost fixed now they have to repair the drywall and get the door on there but there's always some little things like that come up during construction luckily nothing's been too too major as of yet they're working away downstairs it is nice to be on the staircase and not worried about falling off the uh, edge of doom i think it's gonna take a while before melissa gets used to that um she does not enjoy heights very much and we have this big sort of feature here but it really does add a lot of dynamic and gives a lot of extra light to the downstairs and the upstairs. So notice in the pantry, they've been working. They got a couple more shelves up on that side. There's gonna be a cabinet down below with a little extra drink fridge down there. Shelves in the closet are going in. And the uh, this is sort of a cubby area back here. So the kids can put the little baskets up top with their, you know, hats or mitts and gloves, hang their jacket, put their shoes down below, kind of schoolhouse style. So nice little mudroom space, a little bench you can sit on too. Um, maybe now that these shelves are in, once they're almost done, I guess they will probably put the door frame on after. But Drew Pat, there's an awful lot going on today. I mean, I look out the sea of contractor vehicles. Um, so who all is here today? So we have the, the biggest one here is uh, the railing guys getting your rails from upper floor to the main floor all completed i saw it and it's looking good too that's that's awesome to hear and then we have our electricians here they're running uh the, some ac wiring uh, into the mechanical room they're doing the garage uh, heater plug-in properly today as well you know there was a, oh good yeah there was some confusion in that one so they're getting that sorted today and then we also have our drywall uh repairman here uh, there were some things out of level, so I caught that and, you know, I just wanted to get that fixed up. So it all looks perfect. Yeah, no, that's great. And um, so will they be using the garage heater after today? Will it work? Today? I am really hoping because I also want to send that temporary heater back and start using our own heat here. Um, so I'm really hoping, you know, we can get it activated today or even by tomorrow and start using our own heat uh, for the furnace and the garage heater. Perfect, and um, I guess with the railings going in, they don't do baseboards until after the flooring is done, right? That's correct, yeah. All the places where the hard flooring is going, like your hardwood or your planks, uh, we do the baseboards after uh, the flooring is done. 
So at what mm -hmm. stage do the painters come in? Well, they're coming next week. Uh, next week? Yeah, so right after your railing is done, we'll have your painters in. They'll be starting the first stage. Um, normally, I like to even get my cabinets in before uh, before the painters, but this time, you know, our cabinets are delayed, so we'll get the painters in first. Right, and then I guess if we have to do any touch-ups from install, we can just come and touch them up. Or... Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so cabinets probably in a couple weeks yet? March 15th is what they're telling okay. me. So... Okay, so a bit of a delay on those. Yeah, well, the painters will take uh, three to four weeks um, because it's a nice size house. Um, it'll take them some time. So they will ask for three, four weeks, and uh, that'll lead us right into cabinet install. Cabinet install and then flooring right after that? And then flooring. The tiles will start right after that. And then the hardwood and laminate and all that? Hardwood we do last because we don't want anybody walking on it, um, especially with any sort of equipment. Uh, so that'll probably be the last thing we do because hardwood's hard to uh, fix and repair. So we want to make sure it only needs to be done once and it's protected. Right. So it feels like we're getting so close to the end here. Um, I mean, on the outside, there's obviously a lot of work to do in terms, we mm -hmm. still have to build a road that goes from yeah. the garage out to the road there. Mm -hmm. um, and have you found a contractor for that? To yeah, so we've been uh, already talking to some big, uh, some of the big contractors in the city who specialize in asphalt paving, the sub base for the gravel driveway. Uh, we have already started talking to our grading people who we use normally for landscaping and grading. Um, so they'll be coming on site to take a look at what needs to be done and give us a price so we can go on. Right, and then I guess it's hard to, I don't know in winter how they do it, but stuff goes on the ground that needs to be cleaned up and then you get snow and then it gets snowed on. So how do they do a cleanup? Do they just bring like equipment through and? Yeah, so basically the grading guys, like so we'll pick up all the big stuff, like any big lumber and stuff we'll pick up. We'll let you keep if you want any, any of the materials if you want to keep it. Uh, but rest, the grading guys come with a the bobcat, they'll you know make a garbage pile basically, they'll haul that away and get new dirt. Uh, which we can lay down. Yes, and uh, yeah. I think I'm excited most that we're going to have an opportunity to go get grass seed and, uh, yeah. you know, start getting some fresh grass growing around the house and making it look nice. Mm. This is, uh, you know, getting to the tail end part is the, <laughs> uh, the I find that you said it would, it would feel slower, which I guess it does because, you know, we had the, we had the framing go up so quickly. Yeah. And, but I noticed that there's such big changes on the inside every time we come out and visit. Like today, the railings, the closets look like they're almost all done. They are. Closets are almost done. Uh, did you like them, the way they're done? Yeah, they look like they're going to work out. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so I guess we'll come back at, at a later date, check on the final install product of the uh, railing. And you said mm -hmm. the painter's next week? Next week. Yeah. Well, that's going to be exciting to start seeing it really take shape. Absolutely. Well, thanks for the uh, visit and showing me around today. It's always good to have you. Okay, it's the end of the day. The fellows have all gone home. I've come back to see how far they got. I'm excited to see if they finished up the staircase or maybe the garage heater's working. I don't know. Let's go see. Get some lights on in here. Well, let's look at this. They got the railing going down to the basement done and trimmed. Most of the railing, it looks like going upstairs. Seems to me that he's almost finished, other than doing this last little section here. That I basically have complete railing. I'm going to stand back here to think at some point I might have my children graduating from high school and then university descending that staircase as they tootle their way down and off on their way to the prom or to grad. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> It is a nice staircase. And I think that once we get the railing all stained and finished, once the uh, end posts here are all stained up nice and everything's all finished nicely, it'll look great. And from what Drew had saying, the painters are coming next week, so it will be pink no more. It will be agreeable gray, which isn't really too gray. It's sort of an off-white with a hint of gray. Anyway, that'll happen. Uh, he was explaining to me that the uh, other door frames that aren't here, are gonna be coming next week as well. Those were custom made slabs because these are uh, eight foot tall doors. They're not your average height of door. So they had to custom build the, um, the frame and the slab for that. Let's have a look in the garage and see what's happened out here. Uh, looks like it's all plumbed in. Get some lights going in here. The electrician came and 
moved the thermostat. They had the thermostat over in this area and it was an external wire. And what he did is he uh, put it and fed it through the wall. You can see the little holes they cut out. They've got to come back and fix those. But eventually what that will mean is that the thermostat um, and the switch for the uh, heater will be hidden inside the wall. So it'll be nice and clean and you won't have exposed uh, conduit coming down from that. So I think that probably any day now, probably tomorrow, they'll be able to get the garage furnace turned on and they can do away with these temporary um, rental tubes. I feel like I'm in uh, Tremors and the uh, aliens are climbing in through the window here. <laughs> this giant ground slugs. What is it? And Kevin Bacon's gonna come running around the corner before too long with his pickup truck and save the day. Uh, those things will be gone soon and then we'll be running off of our own heat in this garage. I'm excited for this to get painted. Uh, and I did hear back from my friend Jim about the cabinets. So we're just trying to figure out uh, pricing and colors and all that kind of stuff. And those will go in down the road, but they can't go in until the painters have finished what they're doing. Let's have a look inside. Upstairs, I can see they've been in here kind of patching. They're trying to level out um, these art niches so that they're as smooth and level as possible. They've had to put several skim coats on, which are drying right now. They'll come back and sand that all nice and level because we want it to be as perfect as possible. And yeah, our closet is still closety. Melissa and I were just figuring out whose side was gonna be whose. I think I'm gonna take that little section there and then she can have all that. And there's even room above to put stuff. Lots of space in here. Part of the reason this takes so long is that everything is custom cut and custom fit. If you look down at the bottom here, this solid piece of laminated wood had to be notched and cut just perfect to go on the bottom. That means lots of little chunks to be removed and right at the right sort of angles. Uh, it takes precision work. It takes a good craftsman to do that, to get these nice corners and nice finish. But that's why you have the professionals come in and do it. So it looks fantastic when it's all done. Now this gap, of course, will be filled. There's gonna be carpeting in here, so you won't see that. If you're wondering at home, like what that's all about, that's because this is gonna be carpeted on the stairs. But uh, very pleased with the work. It's nice and solid and nice and sturdy. And I just know that once it's all finished, it's gonna be a nice showpiece when you walk in the front door. Now, some of you at home were asking why we don't have the front door on our house yet. There's a good, well, there's a front door, but that's obviously not the front door that's gonna be on our house. Uh, mind you, one of you did write me and say, you should really rethink that door, it's so plain. <laughs> this is a contractor door. Um, our actual door, again, is gonna be quite large and fill up this space nicely. The reason why they don't put it on just yet is because the entrance, the front of the house, sees an awful lot of use from the contractors and gets a lot of wear and tear. So they put these temporary doors on. I don't know if you can see all the dirt and grime and debris and kick marks and stuff. They put the temporary door on so that it can take the brunt of the damage and not the proper nice door. And I appreciate that because when you're putting a fancy door on, you don't want to get it all beaten up before you uh, live in the house. So this will be one of the last things to go on. And glad that it is because this door is getting pretty beaten up. <laughs> It's serving its purpose well. I've come back a little while later on and the stairs are done, let me show you. I guess I should say the railings are done because the steps obviously aren't finished yet. The carpeting is happening later, but look, we have these beautiful solid wood railings going up from the basement, which is where I am right now. I continue up the stairs, you got a little railing right there, continues around the corner here. And just did a really nice job getting it all angled and put in these nice little joints and everything is finished off so nicely. So that is done and in place. And it's finished all the way going upstairs too. So when you walk in the front door, you see this, that's the view from the front door. And it looks like they did kind of a step up. It's sort of interesting here. This railing is on a little bit of an angle, I guess, to go to the proper height because of that step up in the stairs. It's an interesting way of doing it. And it's all finished and ready for paint, which is good news. 
This is all finished up right in the nick of time. At the time of recording, it's Friday. And on Monday, the painters come in and they start putting the finish coat on all well, the banisters and the railings and the walls and everything. It's gonna take them about three weeks, Drew Pad said, to get all the paint done. But we're prepped and ready for that step. And I'm excited for it because paint makes all the difference in the world. Um, no more pink primer, <laughs> that'll be gone and done with. But the, the walls, the doors, everything will get painted in the correct colors. And that's when we'll start to see the house looking kind of how we're hoping it will look. So I guess there'll be a much bigger update happening on the next episode when paint starts to go on, cabinets start to go in, and well, and I guess uh, some of the finish work starts to happen. Uh, doors get framed in and finished up. So uh, lots more to come in future episodes, guys. So stay tuned. Um, but today we have stairs. Well, we have railings on the stairs. We won't fall off a cliff anymore. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. We'll see you all soon. And as always, bye for now.